Meanwhile, I want to go back a little bit and digress. There are two or three very interesting episodes in uh, my father's life and our life about that time that I would like to comment on in this uh, report. Uh, my father uh, had, uh, of course, a connection with the Union News Company. And uh, old Mr. Forbel and Mrs. Forbel were New Yorkers. They were typical 1890-type New Yorkers. Uh, uh, had a, a New York accent. And he ran the, this news company there, the news company. And, of course, he, they bought lots of things. So every year, about April or May, my father would give Mr. Forbel an order for, used to cost him about $125 for a whole great big crate of fireworks. I always liked to have fireworks for the 4th of July. And uh, uh, then about the middle of June, in would come this great big wooden crate. It was it looked about the size of a coffin. Not quite as tall, but uh, as long as a coffin. It had, had the, uh, what do you call these things, uh, Roman candles in it, and sky rockets and pinwheels and box after box after box of uh, firecrackers from little baby ones that we used to have that I, we let me use, the big ones. And uh, so my father would always have a big display that night uh, out, out to, in front of the house. And all the neighbors would come around and they had lemonade and so forth and, and uh, everybody watched all these things. And meanwhile, it's July the 4th come, I'd have all the firecrackers I wanted for all the kids in the neighborhood. Though my father would never let me take a piece of punk and light a firecracker that was over three inches long. The big cannon crackers, which were five and six inches long, he wouldn't let me touch those. <coughs> but I can remember coming, uh, uh, seeing that crate and it'd be put down in the basement. And I'd have to stand there and look at that crate, not opened, for three weeks until 4th of July came. And I, uh, my mouth would water. I'd want to see that. And we had always put on quite a display. He even had, there were balloons in it. Where you'd he had a wick and you'd 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 heat the wick. It had oil in it, or kerosene or something, and you'd light the wick on a cross wire, and then this paper tissue balloon would come up about four feet high. Then you let the thing go up. Didn't worry about uh, any fires in those days, and the thing would float off in the sky. So we'd always set off about a dozen of those just at dusk, and then at, after dark uh, there'd be all these pinwheels. He'd have one of the men from the factory come out and help him turn, put the things off, you know, and all the skyrockers zooming off. And, oh, he had a great time. Right out in the front lawn, on the street, right in the front lawn. And uh, so that was quite an episode. That was one of the things that we used to love to do. And uh, we looked up, I looked up to my father because he always had those and uh, he, 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 tur he blew the, all this stuff off in a typical business-like way. Meanwhile, my father had become rather portly. You know, it was stylish in those days to have a big stomach. Man, he was affluent, he always had a big stomach. My father had got a pretty good-sized stomach. He'd become white-haired, and he was an immaculate dresser. He was, all of his life, he was an immaculate dresser and a cleaner-upper. He always kept himself absolutely clean. He used to say it took him an hour to get dressed every morning. He did, from the time he bathed and shaved, and he did the whole thing, wash his hair and scrub himself, and that pure white hair. And he looked, his face was pink, and his clothes were immaculate. And he always saw my father, never saw him any way but like that. He spent a lot of money on his clothes, but he always had the right thing on at the right time. That was one episode that uh, was worth uh, telling about, it because he had those, and even after he went out to the other east side, the 17th topping place, the four-acre place. We always had a big fireworks display there until we left to go to Canada.